Welcome back to Hannity as we continue. We're outside of the Vegas Strip in Henderson, Nevada, and we're going to have more with Adam Laxalt, Senator Scott, in a moment. But first, uh, let's turn to an important race that is in Utah, a neighboring state, where dishonest polit political hacks, they've attempted to trick voters into supporting a guy by the name of Evan McMullen against Republican incumbent Mike Lee. Now, Evan McMullen, or as my friend Rod Arquette calls him, Egg McMuffin, he's running... <laughs> A traditional left-wing political campaign, he's taking money, huge amounts of money from Democrats all across the country. He's being supported by a super liberal PAC with donations pouring in from liberal California, including substantial funding from at least one big tech billionaire. Now, McMullen is also sending money uh, to Democratic firms to help with his campaign. Now, meanwhile, Utah's Democratic voters, they're backing Evan McMullen. But he's not running as a Democrat. Because the state is so overwhelmingly conservative, Democrats know they have no shot, so they are secretly funding and helping and assisting and aiding and abetting McMullen in this scam, pretending to be an independent. It is deceptive, it is dishonest, pretty repulsive and disgusting. And meanwhile, Republican Senator Mike Lee, one of the most honest, thoughtful, productive, intelligent, a real constitutionalist, a member of the U.S. Senate that has an impeccable conservative track record. And by the way, this race could also decide the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. So the people in Utah, do they want to give Biden and the Democrats a rubber stamp for the next two years? Joining us now with more Utah Republican Senator, let's give a warm, warm Nevada welcome to our friend Senator Mike Lee of Utah. Yeah. If things don't work out in Utah, I think you got a home here. Uh, you know, what I don't like is the, the outright dishonesty. You have 49 Republican colleagues. 48 of your colleagues have endorsed you, and if I'm not mistaken, have given you money. They've donated to your campaign. That's right. Right. Yeah. That's right. I'm grateful for their endorsement. That includes people who agree with me a lot of the time, you know, like Rand Paul and Ted Cruz, and people who don't always agree with me. And Tim Scott. Me. And Tim Scott. Right. And people who don't always agree with me, like uh, Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski. Right. So I'm grateful for their support. Who's the one that is, has not endorsed you? Well, th th there's one who hasn't. And he, he's made a decision uh, based on the fact that he's got two friends in this race to stay out, and he's from the same state that I am. Uh, which I think is sad. But I also think there's a level of dishonesty to this, and that is, he says he's an independent. I've looked at where the money is coming from. Where is where is Evan McMullen's money coming from? It's coming from Act Blue. The people who are Democrats, who want Democrats to get elected and rubber stamp Joe Biden's agenda in the Congress, they go onto this donor network called Act Blue, and they donate to him on Act Blue, and they've raised two and a half million dollars for him in the last quarter alone. Predictably, Evan McMullen then spends that through Democratic consultants, people who represent other candidates who are far left, uh, just like he is, and who are Democrats, uh, only who admit that they're Democrats, while Evan doesn't. Look, he courted the Democratic Party's endorsement in this race, convinced the Democratic Party not to run a candidate, and he explained to them very specifically, look, now, I can get elected in Utah because I'll have an I after my name instead of a D, but I support what you support. He supports nuking the filibuster to pass S-1. S-1 is a bill that would get rid of the state's ability to require voter ID, get rid of the state's ability to determine legislative boundaries. He would nuke the filibuster to get that passed, and that would lead to the automatic registration of millions of illegal aliens onto our voter registration files. So, That's wrong. So if it became a 51... 49 Senate and or 51 48 and if McMullen says that he's he's going to he's going to vote for somebody for Senate majority leader right well he claims that he wouldn't he claims that he would maintain his independence not really a thing you can't get committee of summits the last guy who tried this was a senator from Oregon back in 1953 it didn't work cuz he couldn't get committee assignments so right. he ended up affiliating with democrats like all the independents do and he became a Democrat. I mean, could it be, I mean, we see with a 50-50 Senate, for example, the power that Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema have had, right? 
Is this a situation where Mitt Romney wants to partner with Evan McMullen in the hopes that they can control nothing, no bill will get passed unless it goes through them? Uh, which, that would make the case, I would argue, for Republicans to have an overwhelming majority, a Mitt Romney-proof majority, if you will, yes. for the U.S. Senate. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I think that's a great point. And my opponent is oddly using this as a selling point. Look, I, I will be putting Utah first. I'll put Utah first by being the decision maker in everything. It's not putting Utah first. That's putting Evan McMullen first. There is a difference. We have a saying where I come from. If it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, if it has webbed feet like a duck, in this case, it's a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good saying. Uh, it wouldn't work in New York. What do, how do you interpret that? You know, I endorse Mike Lee. And as a matter of fact, one of the questions that I think we should answer right now is if you want to support Mike Lee... How do we do that? You go to LeeForSenate.com. That's LeeForSenate.com. And unlike Evan McMullen, LeeForSenate.com is associated with WinRed, which is for Republicans. By the way, we are, we are here for Adam. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he has a website, too. That's we'll funny. get to that. Well, we get to... Yeah. Sean, think about this. In 2020, losing a single seat in Georgia cost the American taxpayers $4 trillion. <laughs> $1.9 trillion in the COVID relief package that only missed one thing, COVID relief. Yeah. Yeah. The Democrats spent $1.8 trillion on their priorities. Then they had a $1.2 trillion infrastructure package. Mm -hmm. And then they followed up this year with a $739 billion spending plan that raised taxes. If you want to eliminate that kind of spending, there are three alternatives on the stage. Yeah. Both of these two guys, and me too. Yeah. Literally, this is easy. You have your own. Let me give... We're going to bring out Larry and Leo. I want to give you a last word here. This race, you are now leading by two points. I, as of today. Voting has started. As of what day? Saturday. As of Saturday. So, the people now... Your final pitch to the people in this great state of Nevada... Look, we have one shot to turn Nevada back to the right direction. We know what it's like to have blue control over this state, blue control over America. It's a disaster. And it's not just us taking back this state. Me winning this race gives us 51 votes in the U.S. Senate, which allows us to block radical appointees, allows us to block more trillion-dollar spending bills, and it allows us to actually have the gavel so we can investigate People like Dr. Fauci get to the bottom of the FBI. You know, all these things where I know our voters... Can I put in a request? How about Hunter and Joe Biden? Hunter's number one. There you go. Look, our voters want our party to get on offense. They want our party to be able to get to the bottom of what you call this two-tiered system. It's going on all over government. If we get the majority... I mean, Mike Lee is an amazing senator. He's got an amazing understanding of the Constitution, right? Senator Tim Scott has been a leader for our party and a champion. I mean, if we get us the gavel, we can finally start taking our country back. Senator Laxalt, thank you so you got much. a vote for these guys? Thank Senator you. Tim Scott, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, when we come back, Larry Elder, Leo 2.0, as we continue.